You know that song that's like ba 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 rants. Ba 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 rants. Ba ba rants. Oh, you got me rocking and rolling in the beat of the ba 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 rants. Boom! Welcome to the podcast. My name. And this over here is Jeff. And I am a local Scientologist. Now let me tell you, I passed out while getting my nails done. He did. I did. Um, but only because he's a bitch made bitch. Uh, who would have thought that huffing nail polish from a tiny Asian woman, Vietnamese, 48 years old, by golly, she did not <clears throat> know the term stop painting my nails, but she did know the term of <clears throat> rolling my eyes into the back of my head and throwing up on myself. She did know the term... Uh, this man is unconscious. Call 911. Yes, she did. Ambulances are expensive, but they didn't make me pay shit for it. The place that I went, uh, it's like Switzerland up there because it's surrounded by mountains and I hit a deer. Oh my god, that's exactly like Switzerland. Yeah. That happens in Switzerland all the time. That's all that, that happens that's in Switzerland. Sw so yeah, when you take a flight to um, Gestad, be sure to uh, get a rental. And make sure the insurance on it is good. And make sure you wear some grates over uh, over the front of the grill, uh, so that anything you hit uh, does not directly get its carcass into your air filter at all. Because that'll mess it up. That will mess it. That'll up. really plug that thing up. You got a little bit of you got a little bit of blood, a little bit of really get some gunk in there. Got a little bit of meat in there. Nice Ooh. a nice sirloin in your Ooh. in your air filter. Stop some your venison. Me. Ooh, gotta rub my belly. Gotta rub oh, it. Gotta dude, be rub that ooh, belly. Ooh, ooh, that's that's some good stuff. No. Ooh. Still got some bad heartburn ooh. or some acid reflux. Oh yeah. No, I I take Prilosec. Prilosec. Take Prilosec. Prilosec. I'm Larry the Cable Guy, and I take Prilosec so I can eat the flesh of the living and ride my ATV. Now, let's talk about something all on our minds here. Uh, JoJo is almost over. Take a shot. Oh jeez. Yeah. That means it's going to be like another year and a half. But, oh, it might be more. Yeah, it'll, it might be more. Uh, but to be fair, I don't know that I think that they will put in the same effort towards part six that they did towards part five. I mean, I the agree. Japanese. The um, Japanese. The Japanese. Uh, Jamaican me crazy. Uh, they really do enjoy part five of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, for those of you that don't know, each part takes place in a different part of the world. Sometimes multiple parts in multiple parts of the world. This part takes place in Italy, and they're tiny little, they're tiny little boys compared to the buff boys you're used to. It actually and, uh, takes place completely in Amenchis in Italy. It does, yeah, actually. And they say buongiorno, and that's actually the only thing they say to each other. It's yeah. like listening to Pokemon and have a conversation. It's actually just part five is all just a bunch of dudes that have never met trying to get some Froyo at Menchie's. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. sponsored. 38 <laughs> episodes. Dude, where's my car? 38 episodes of the best yogurt place in town. Jeff, you're right. You know, turn on the keys to your car. Let's go to Menchie's. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Frozen <laughs> yogurt time. Brought to you by Carl Jr. But um, I think you were the one who had mentioned it, but uh, it's... I. I love how, uh, you know how each part is kind of like a different genre of a thing. Like part yeah. four is like murder mystery. Like this whole mob uh, and like mob boss hunting like game that they're doing is it's so cool. It's fun. Like it's such a unique idea. It's like it jumps from just like slice of life anime to like <clears throat> the fucking wire, like Breaking Bad out of nowhere. But it wasn't like too like obnoxious like part four was, I feel like sometimes. Oh, part four got obnoxious sometimes. I yeah. get it. But, like, it it had its own motif, and it followed it to a T, while this is following its motif so hard, so hardcore. That it's pushing past the T. For instance, in, it's like, no beef. in previous, like, fucking seasons and parts, um, people didn't die, they just retired, or they got knocked out. And sometimes they would die, but that would be, like, a final boss or a very unfortunate person. This, on the other hand, it's like, wasted, 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 yo dead, yo dead, yo dead, bullet to the brain. We got some motherfuckers left and right out here. Yeah. <laughs> bra, 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 and in bra. the next one, it's going to get really friggin', because it takes place in a Florida prison. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a prison guard that gets his toenail garroted off with piano wire, mm. a.k.a. Jolene Stand. Oh. Just toenail 
rips Spoilers. all the way up from here, all the way up his leg. It's like a potato peel. <laughs> now, speaking of you, which... You're talking about hangnail, like, holy crap. Yeah, oh. just riding all the way up your... Hang hangnail nail. that goes from your finger all the way up here, and you're <laughs> like, ah, oh, man, this is gonna bug me all day, is blood. A hangnail? I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> Look her. <laughs> um, to all headphone users, I'm sorry. He's not. He never is. I really am not. Never is. Nope. Never a time. Uh, a couple of times. He's licked my butthole before and not even giving me a reach around. Well, it's hard to look at you with this chocolate ice cream smile. <laughs> I know, but I always flex it to try to to try to get something across. I know you flex it. My tongue gets stuck in there like the fucking Christmas story, like tongue on a pole. I tell you before we start going every single time that I want to pretend that I'm a dog fighting for a dog toy. Yeah, I know, with your butthole, and I'm like, you triple dog dare me. Okay, I stick my tongue in there. I'm like, duck. Duck, duck! And then I said the F dash 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 word. <gasps> Beep every one of those syllables. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! And not beep that. <laughs> but uh, because that's how that works. Uh, Logan, you're not you're not in on it, and uh, I was saying that we we're probably gonna talk about it earlier in games uh, when we're gaming. But. Uh, season 5 of Love Islands is upon us. It's finally here. Um, if any of you are in Britain and are watching us for some reason, weird. Yeah, um, like, you got better things to yeah, do. Yeah, come on, you have a queen. You like, could you could go be in Love Island right now. We you have, could be in Love Island. We have a queen, too. Her name is... No, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> not even gonna go there. Not even gonna go there. <laughs> Thanks, Logie. <laughs> Although, burr, like, burr, burr, burr. how great would it be to just spend eight weeks living in, like, a place like that? Oh, dude, right? Every single... That's one of the shows. There's certain shows you watch, and then you, like, as you're watching, you're like, man, I need to really get my get my body into shape. That's one of them for me. That's true. I definitely feel that. Even though it never lasts too long, yeah, as you never, can probably tell. But. I mean, you gotta, you gotta work to maintain it, but I also have to work to get it in the first place, which is hard. Um, but... Uh, it's going. It's a, it's a good season so far. They they crack on is still my favorite phrase of all time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The British people uh, are wonderful. Um, they speak funny. There's a really good. There's a really good cast this season too. Yeah, and they got a really good cast. They're all on fire. They're all on fire. <laughs> um, well, some of them are in a cast. Oh. Uh, I actually uh, I saw a commercial on like Twitter today about how MTV is kind of doing the same thing except it's. Uh, like, is that Temptation Island? No, it's... Uh, I forget the title of it, but basically, it the girl... It can be gay. Like, you, you can be... Uh, Hell yeah, you can smash puss! You can love anybody. Um, Hell yeah, bro. But it's still, like, MTV America, so I don't know if it'll compare to... Oh, no. You know, that, that, that foreign quality it, that... Yeah. If Island it's has, MTV, then it should be called Trying to Be Relevant Island. I just wish... You know they'd be called <laughs> to be relevant again? they just bring back Silent Library. Or Beavis and Butthead again. For the for Beavis like, and Butthead time. For for the new season, the third recoming of Beavis, but, Beavis and Butthead Island. All Beavis right, and hear me out. Hearing. It's, it's just like The Bachelor, but it's Beavis and Butthead. They bring in a bunch of like, and they're still like, they're not like weird cartoon girls at all. They're <clears> all like real girls that are like here that would be on The Bachelor. They're like, I'm just trying to find love and it really feels like I'm going to find it in Beavis here. <laughs> And then it's just them just being like, <laughs> I'm just trying to score right now, man. Yeah, he hasn't scored yet. <clears throat> Cornholio. <laughs> I need to beat for my butthole. But all the contestants are like in it. He like, keeps on like, saying, oh God. yeah, they're all like super invested. They're like, he keeps on saying stuff that makes me think he's not really interested in my personality. And like, cuts a shot of them at dinner and she's like, yeah, I really like dogs. They're just like, are you fucking talking? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's got a huge nose. You know what they say about huge noses? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she has a huge schlong. <laughs> <laughs> and then by the end, um, they, it, it, the plot twist is that Beavis and Butthead have to fight for, like, the last contestant. Yeah, they have to... They have or to, she they, has they to just choose. get in, like, a really bad slap fight. <laughs> Knock it off! That'd be, I mean, I would watch it. I would watch it. Um, it be called Beavis and Butthead in Paradise. Can you, like, shut up? Oh, God, he wants me. He really he, does. He's playing hard to get. Like, all these chicks are just, like, 
fucking my vibes right now. <laughs> it's the fucking worst. Yeah, Beavis is fit, but uh, <laughs> he hasn't said that he wants to crack on with me yet, and I just don't know how to feel about that particularly at the moment. What the hell's crack on? <laughs> crack. Is that where you <laughs> do? Butt crack. Is that where you smoke crack in someone's <laughs> ass? You should butt crack. <laughs> All right, Jeff. There might, maybe there was a reason that that show was canceled. <laughs> I'm not childish. Now, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe that Beavis and Butthead didn't last as long as King of the Hell. Like, yeah. think about a more uh, white bread, boring TV show. And it was like the first thing on Adult Swim, too, if not Family Guy. Uh, the first thing on Adult Swim was Space Ghost. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. It was, yeah, We've I had this discussion you. before. And no, I, we haven't. Yes, we have. We have I've, definitely had this conversation. I promise you, Space Ghost. Or it's Deja Vu. Because or, Chris, or Christmas, uh, Cartoon Network would end, and then it would be King of the Hill, and then Family Guy, and then I think Robot Chicken. Okay, Robot Chicken wasn't even close to when Space Ghost came I out. Think so Space Ghost came out. I think he's referring to an order in which it would uh, air. Oh, oh, I thought yeah, you meant like the, an no, original the, air de, date. Oh, no, that's... No, sorry. no, no. First thing that came out every night was Family Guy. I thought it was King of the Hill at first. No, I I stayed up every night when I was seven, eight years old, and I'd just watch Adult Swim. It would go Family Guy, I believe, and then afterwards, after it broke the ice with its adult show, it would go um, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force... Then whatever 15-minute bullshit, so probably Robot Chicken. I think another Robot Chicken. Um, maybe either Home Movies, Brack Show, Mission and then Valley. Was Saturday was anime. Oh, God, Saturdays. I was not mature enough to enjoy animes because I watched this and I got really uncomfortable. Unless there was boobies and or vagina. Inuyasha was a pretty chill one, I thought. Oh, Inuyasha had its fair share every once in a while. But I never was around for those. I also saw my first episodes of Trigun, Space Ghost. Uh, I saw Eureka 7, which was my favorite anime at the time. Until I started watching Naruto when I was 9, Eureka 7 was my favorite. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. And did you uh, Did you guys ever watch Nick at Night too? <clears throat> oh, I watched a lot of George Lopez. Thank you. I mean, I looked in the mirror at night, so basically. Had it? Had it. And Fib. Ha ha! There's more to Nick at Night, though, than just George Lopez. Yeah, Family Matters. <laughs> and others, too! The Cosby Show! Oh. The Cosby, oh. oh. The Cosby, oh no. Bill, Bill Crosby and Puddin' and Touching People. <laughs> <laughs> touching People. In that order. All his favorite things. What if Bill Cosby just got out of his persona in jail and be like, Hey, it's me, Bill Cosby, putting, popping, bipping sweaters. All right, which one of you is holding back my hooch? <laughs> and yeah, then, like, man. the security card will come along and be like, You sweet jazz is like Pokemon. <laughs> and then you walk away and be like, Seriously, I'm about to kill one of you. I'm a beat your way. I'm America's dad. Slap, slap, slap. Slippity, slap, slap. Slippity, slap, get into my sack. Now. No, Jeff. You live in a sack now. What do you do? Um, I get comfy. All right, there we go. Now what? Now I, uh, I'll rest, and then when it's time to go, uh, I'll just kind of, like, All what right. it, wasn't it a game that you can, like, be in a sack and, like, hop around in? You're in the, yeah, yeah the Zorb. Game, but this, uh, this sack is too big. Your whole body's inside. While you're resting, um, by your estimate, as your eyes flutter open, roughly two hours into your rest, uh, you feel yourself being moved. You notice the top of the bag, the sack, rather, where you climbed in, is now closed tightly. What do you do? Stick my finger through it and go like... All right. What if you, you stick hear... your fingers through, you hear a... Uh, it breaks your finger. <laughs> that, that's actually roughly what I was going to say. I was going to say... Uh, and then a fist breaks your finger. <laughs> All um, right. Well, what? I'm screaming. You know, now, now, I'm, now I'm like actually concerned. I'm thrashing about, feeling like I'm not in the best situation. All right. All Immediately right. regret you my decision. You start screaming. You feel the centrifugal force push you to the bottom of the bag as the bag whirls around and you find yourself slammed upon the ground. Do you keep screaming or do you attempt a new approach? I yelp to see if uh, the bag man. The bag ogre, whatever it is. See, you run out of hearts, and then some Zora <laughs> comes out and says, You're not gonna die today! And then you regain all of your hearts, because you already conquered the divine beast in that region. 
And then a ghost leg in. All right, or... so he throws you on the ground. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he throws you on the ground. You're about to die. Okay, well, I shut up then. What, what if another man comes by and says, Jeff, Jeff, it's me. It's your life fairy. You're stuck inside a pig. You're going to need to get out of the pig. I believe in you. And he kisses you on the nose and flies away. He, so, he didn't do anything. I start eating the bag. So he takes. <laughs> so so you stop. You stop yelping. He takes you to a factory, and you feel your. your you can tell from the from the machinery around. He lays you down on something, and you feel you feel that the bag is now safe. If you want to exit it, what do you do? Well, I try to stick my other finger out and go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, a nothing, robot nothing punches. Nothing happens. It. Nothing happens. So okay. Far. Well, I, I guess in hindsight, I guess I could have just opened the bag. All right, so you open the bag. Like it's a it's a Jeff factory. There's a bunch of other Jeffs on the conveyor belt. They look exactly like you, just in various outfits. What? And, and all the workers are Jeff as well. Uh, I yeah. kill myself knowing that I'm just a. What do you kill yourself with? Another Jeff. I, 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 a how, how do you <laughs> how just wrap him around your neck like a scarf? I tell him to choke me, and then he'll understand. So, so, so vaguely <laughs> correct. He'll think it's his kinks, and he'll be like, all right, hell so yeah. So he keeps it safe. Off. He doesn't hurt you. He's I'll just look at him, and I'll be like, huh? And he'll be yeah. like, yeah. And he'll be like, <laughs> my name is Jeff. And that's how you talk. Every single day, I see Jeff, and he's like, Sleep, Corp. Do you have any ozone? <laughs> he says that every day. He, he does. Got some spare Anyways, uh, Jeff dies. Well, that was um, a cute D&D &D session. <laughs> he can... What did Thank I win? You. Did I get any experience? No. He um, died in the Jeff factory, remember? <laughs> I got attacked by a dog. In no, no, real didn't. life? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. It's not an attack. It is. I got bit. That's a play. That's a little, just playing around. No, he was angry at me. Well, I, no, look, I stuck my around. finger out between the fence because I wanted to be friends, and then he bit me. Well, you, well, I pulled back, and I was yeah, bleeding. Yeah, he thought he wanted to play hot dog. He's like, oh, hey, there's a human. Logan was giving the dog, dog a hand joe, and he came to it. He, he was having, the dog thought it was hate sex. I hate it when my dad wants to play hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> No, straight up, this dog was, like, protecting his house, but he was, like, 17 years old, and he was, like, a Labrador, <clears throat> and he was just pissed. I was just, like, at work. I was like, I want to pet this dog. So I was, like, trying to get him to smell me and stuff, but he wouldn't come close enough, so I stuck my finger in the fence, and he straight up just, like, snapped at me. He told this like, dog was Ooh. 94 in dog years? Yes, 100%. He could not walk correctly. And also, he was, like, old. And you still got your ass kicked. <laughs> You're so kind of... Baby. Oh, you, shit. You's a there bitch. goes my street cred. You a bitch-made bitch, Logan. No, I'm a man-made bitch. No, you a bitch-made bitch. Well, the facts don't lie. You. Now you have to uh, embrace you. it. That's your title now. Yeah. That's your title now. That's it. My title right now is King of Capricorn, thank you. Actually, it's bitch-made bitch. Made bitch. <laughs> No, I won it at a festival. I've stated before. Make me a certificate and I'll believe you. I've got five certificates you... that say bitch made bitch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh got you, It's ass. coming out. <laughs> hey. You'll get that certificate. You know, I, I'll make a certificate. <laughs> Good. I'll, I'll put it, it on the wall. I'm going to frame it for you like a diploma. It'll say Logan Houseman is a bitch made bitch. His L Logan his... of Houseman... T Bitch made bitch. Bitch first of his of name. Of his name. <laughs> Last of his balls. The, <laughs> the one dangler. The one with the testicles in the houseman clan. Oh, there's three more that do a much better job than me. Three who more testicles. The biggest, who has the biggest testicles in your family? Uh, probably. How would you know that? Mom's side, dad side, or both sides? Uh, really overall. Overall, um. Hmm. I'd say maybe, uh, probably my grandpa. You think he has the biggest testicles? Is yeah, one hundred percent. He like goes out like hiking and like camping in the Alaskan wilderness. He like takes videos of bears. He's got a handlebar mustache. He's a man. Other than that, maybe my other grandpa. No, I'm talking like testicle size, not like. No, that's what I mean. He's got big testicles too. He doesn't yeah, just have big. They're balls. like they're like guava. They're like mangoes. They're like mangles. They're like guacamole. Guac <laughs> and just a mole. Guac guacamole. And just like guacamole, it only produces green liquid. Uh, that sounds just like, like my father. That's how you came. 
That's how I came about. That's how he comes. Nine months before I was born, my uh, I, I went to a party with my mom and left with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say I think that's the opposite way around. No, they both switched genders in the middle. <laughs> I like to think, no, even better, they were already the genders they were supposed to be. You just traveled up a penis. I did? <laughs> you, just, you just had to... I blew my dad's dick out when I was born. <laughs> yeah, you kidney stoned your <laughs> ass like a bowling ball. <laughs> 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 that yeah. was my first word, actually. I came out and my, I came out the dick hole and was like, bra bra motherfucker, I'm in. Skeet Scott. And then he went, pew, pew. And my dad, uh, then my dad grabbed me by the right leg and slammed you into the concrete. Me into the concrete. <laughs> me and he said, the boy is evil. We must smite him. But then I stood up and said, no, father. I will not succumb. I will not be beaten so easily. And you then cannot he, defeat me, Then father. he pulled out his razor katana. And, and then I pulled out my razor scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Just start saying you, style unfortunately... <laughs> He, he stabbed you in the chest, but you whapped him in the ankle pretty fucking hard. <laughs> Twisted. Yeah. He, he may he have stabbed like, oh, me in the oh, chest, oh, but I did a pretty it. sick bunny hop. Yeah. You did, You bunny hopped him into the balls, which were freshly destroyed. Promptly. Freshly. What promptly if, crushed his nut. What if you actually, like, what if you, that entire situation happened, but instead of being inside of your daddy's womb... Uh, you were inside of one of his nuts, and it just fell off of him like a coconut from a tree. Yeah, that's... Well, I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. Oh. I, uh... Because then you regrow... <laughs> you regrow... Re re it's the right nut, because the left nut produces the cum. The right one births the children. The right one produces... Shut up. I thought pee was stored in there. Yeah. No, that's a, that's just in the vas deferens. Oh. Pee is produced and released through the vas deferens. <laughs> Yeah, come on! Didn't you study geology? We all we all know our geology. Uh, right? I wasn't a big schooler. <laughs> all right, now completely different subject. What is your favorite kind of doorknob? I like knobs. Um. Yeah, you do. <laughs> 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 all right, now another completely different subject. There is only two people left to be released in Smash. Who do you want them to be realistically? Now that Banjo Kazi uh, Kazooie <clears throat> has blown the gates right open, uh, he said, "Hey, listen, the weird characters can get in now." Uh, Master Chief. I like Master Beef in there. I don't think he'll be in though. Is the thing. If I had to guess on the next two characters, I could see Spyro being a character. Uh, Spyro or and or Crash. I would say Crash would be a better one. Just not because Spyro isn't like a better fighter, but because Crash is more relevant now. Because everyone loves CTR, everyone loves um, the Insane Trilogy. Fucking Crash is like he's popping again. He once wasn't, and now he were. Yeah, was Banjo was Banjo popping though? Um, no, the, he was a cult the, classic more so. Yeah. Exactly. It doesn't, doesn't, they don't necessarily have to rely on them. So being... on that logic, even Spyro would be more relevant. I think it's just Crash is the most rather than, like, a pool of contenders. The only reason that I wouldn't bet on Crash is because he'd be so much like other characters already. Yeah. Um, and Spyro would, I think, would have the most potential to bring something new to the table. Oh, mm. I agree. Oh, yeah, he would definitely <clears throat> have, like... He would be like a bit like a mix between Bowser and Duck Hunt, in my yeah. opinion. Um, they could always bring in Norman Reedus uh, with his uh, funky fetus. And the funky fetus. Uh, Nathan Drake. His move is just laying down an incredibly large ladder. And birthing himself so you can't technically win against him in competitive because he just keeps making more stuff. He just keeps being more him. Is that? Oh, that would be fucked up if you knocked him off the stage and he flung up a baby onto <clears throat> the stage and it grew back into him. Honestly, that's... The kind of porn I'm looking for, so. Let me tell you. Stop. <laughs> looking at porn. We're gonna have Slenderman as the next character. We're gonna... Oh my god. I still get pissed off whenever someone suggests Minecraft Steve. I'm like, still no. waiting. I'm still waiting for another Fire Emblem character. Uh, it's I, even, though, even though it wouldn't make sense because these are not Nintendo people. I these mean, are all different people. I mean, the hero kind of makes sense. Especially oh, in Japan. It yeah. makes incredible sense in Japan. You know what's funny is that actually in Japan, uh, Banjo-Kazooie was trending <clears throat> way harder than the hero. 
In Japan? Yeah, they were like going bananas over Banjo Kazooie. Wait, oh, the I'm hero sure it was in the Dark Souls hero, or I missed that. Part. Oh, uh, 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 the Dragon, Dragon Quest. Quest. Dragon, <gasps> yeah. Quest. Jinx. No. <laughs> Jeff, that's the rule for Mountain Time. Whenever you jinx, you gotta kiss. That's not true. You're it just is. supposed to owe me a soda. <laughs> I just tried to suck his dick. Yeah. Um. Well, it looks like rock, paper, scissors here. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, I wonder if, like, just to throw it in there, um, an indie, like, a huge indie IP now. Oh, so like Shantae? No, because she's not relevant. We should put Shovel Knight in there. You know what? Honestly, but I've been ex I've been somewhat expecting Shovel Knight for some time. But he's a tro he yeah. he's a trophy now. Yeah. He's a Schrodinger now. Yeah, he's a Schrodinger's dick. <laughs> um, it's either in the box or out of the box. I always thought one. Zero would be cool, but Zero isn't getting in. I don't think. No, like pretty much. Oh, Sans Undertale. Sora yeah. from Kingdom Hearts. Sora would be a good character. Sora would have a pretty cool move set. He could do Fireaga. He could do Magikaga. He could do Water Your Plants Saga. Water Your Plants Saga. If they brought in another uh, Final Fantasy character, that would be pretty cool. Oh, they oh, should put yeah. in Titus. They could put in Tito. They could put in... Who else? Uh, Bartholomew. Titus. Squall. Yuffie. Yeah. Lionheart. Tifa. Oh, it's Tifo. Tifo with her small boobs. With her small boobs, but oh, her it pisses big me hands. off. hands. It pisses me off when people are like, I can't believe they shrunk her boobs, and you're just like, Ooga booga! Boob small! Boob boob small make pee pee small! Me no like pee pee small! Ooga booga! Tifa make me mad! Like, get the fuck over it, you fucking virgins! And furthermore, uh, again, as I've stated before, uh, I like a boob that I can hold in my hand. And also, I like a woman that can knock my teeth out, and quite frankly, her fists turn me on. Dude, I... I, I want to hit on her and then her to kill me. You would get a hand job from that. <laughs> you would not want that, sir. No, I do. I want her to... See, because she's got this death grip I'm betting. I bet she's got something. She's just going to choke the life. She's not even going to have to move her she's hands. Not she's not even gonna... going to do that. She's going to grab it, rip it off, and then bash no, it in the same area. It's <laughs> going to be like a squeeze bottle of ketchup. She's, not, she's just going to grab it and it's going to be like... <laughs> Or even better than that, you're going to ask her and she's going to say no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Tifa would be the preferable, but I think um, Dwight from The Office is a pretty good contender. For best hand job, or just... Yeah. He's probably got some stupid... I'm actually kind of glad that Netflix is removing The Office, by the way, side note. I'm really ready for The Office culture to be done. Things need to change. Can we just talk about how The Office has never been an enjoyable show? No, we can't because that would be a lie. I mean, it has Sir. been. Sir. Yes. I don't like it. Oh, well, I don't care. I just hate most of the characters. Well, like, there's like three characters I like. I even hate Michael. <clears throat> like, that's that actually. You know who else hates Michael Scott Logan? My mother. Sir. Sir. You and my mom have so much in common. Because <laughs> I too am a bitch made bitch. Yep. <laughs> Did you just call his mom a bitch made bitch? Well, yeah, I tried to turn it on its head. Oh, he got you. But now he is instead getting head. Oh, no, shit. Go, right. yeah, I admitted it. I admitted it. Oh, no, I got the head. No, I just... Cooly, man, bust through the wall, start sucking Logan off. Oh, yeah. yeah. They all have their moments. It's just that the show is so awkward and hard to watch and boring. Which, like, Parks and Rec There are did a millions movie. of people, including myself, who would disagree. I know, but that's why we call it an opinion. Not a you opinion. You're Not wrong. You Shut up. <laughs> you can't be wrong on an opinion. They could be dumb as hell. You can't be wrong. There you are no dumb answers. You can have your own opinions, but you can't have your own facts. And one of my facts is half the world hates The Office. Or maybe 25% of the world hates The Office. And then 33% of the world... <clears throat> Likes The Office, and then math, math. And then the 2% watch the UK Office. Yeah, 2% watch the UK Office, and 40% of the world um, don't have TVs or electricity or running water, and Flint, Michigan still doesn't have clean water. Go I donate. Will I will say I think The Office is funny, but I do hate the culture that has been built around it. Yes. Um, Just fandom, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. fan bases. I don't know if we've talked about it before, but like, there's so many fandoms that have been ruined. 
or there's so many great things rather that have been ruined by their fandoms. For me personally, like Doctor Same. Who, All Doctor Who, Undertale, toxic. JoJo's on its way, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, that happened. Dragon Ball. No, actually, Dragon Ball fans are cool. Yeah, Dragon Ball fans are cool so far. Yeah, yeah. I like them. Um, but you Naruto play, fans. I'll play some fighters later. <laughs> yeah. Dragon so Ball keep... Fighters. It's Order fun. now. It's one of my favorites. Online.com. Boop up, busy boop. Uh, oh, sorry. Your thing looked like it was about to turn off. No, nah, we should be good for another like five minutes on this battery. See, we have two bat. We have two types of batteries. We might just take a break now. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. All, All right. right guys. Uh, when we come back, uh, we talk about uh, the things that fandoms have affected us great list, like um, how Minecraft is was very hard to play for a while, but it got better. Now it's really fun. Yeah, now it's really fun again because no kids play it anymore because they're too busy sucking their dicks in Roblox. Huh? <gasps> and scene. Or movies or TV shows. Um, what did we say before? Doctor Who? Doctor Who for sure. Because every single scarf wearing Doctor Who fan... <sighs> Dude, yeah, there was just there's just this point where there were <clears throat> all these fucking Doctor Who fans... And they yeah, all of them were like, oh, oh, the fedoras are cool, or <clears throat> fucking... Oh, was it just like the fedora wearers? It was the Tumblr users. You, yeah. But, like, the fedora yeah. wearers, too, got it. It's like, oh, hey, fezzes are cool. I oh. fucking get it. <laughs> fezzes are super cool. Let me wear one to school. Wait, uh -huh. we can't wear hats in school. Aren't Sorry. Aren't I cool? Look, I'm wearing a fez. Aren't I cool and original? Oh, I'm wearing a Stetson tool. Stetsons are cool from the one time they were in America and made a really big deal about it. This Matt Smith guy sure is funny. He keeps on pointing at stuff and saying it's cool. Ha, <laughs> old people, old person, Peter G Gibraltar. Yeah, Peter Gibraltar is Capaldi, now. there we go. Yeah. Oh, we got a woman now. Uh, she wears a... I cannot... Is it a woman now? Did they it is a woman now. Cool. Yeah, the 14th Doctor is a woman. Um, not like that's really a problem, it's just that the writers suck. So I don't like her. Yeah, then I again... Just, I just haven't cared, honestly, like, since Matt Smith, I just haven't cared about the Doctor that much. He just... I really lost the thread of his... himself as a dramatic character at Matt yeah, Smith. Yeah, David Tennant did everything right, because... Dude, David Tennant makes he, me come every time he gets on screen. Because honestly. David Tennant, like, did everything right, because he... He looked like <clears throat> his only weapon was his brain, but even then... He looked like he was always backed against the corner, and he only just perfectly said the right words on accident to make everything go away. Like, he panicked and shit. He could be cool and in control. He had a good personality. Then Matt Smith was just a little too, like, he was, like, the cool kid out of the group of hipsters. But <laughs> even then, compared to, like, the actual cool kids of the group of hipsters in high school, he was, like... He'd be more representative yeah. instead of like the, an actual cool kid. And like, uh, well, like David Tennant just brings the life to like when he was in Jessica Jones season one. Oh, is the Purple Man? The Purple Man, dude. God, he, Purple Man, like he made the Purple Man a really cool villain. Yeah, he like Purple Man didn't give a fuck. I just like how he could walk it. I want the Purple Man's ability. I want so, his power. And I would walk abuse into someone's like house and be like, "What are we having for dinner? You're making it, by the way." And they'd be like, yeah, all right, I'll make you dinner. And be like, you kids go into the closet. I don't like you. If I have to go to the bathroom, we'll piss your pants. I don't care. Just get in the closet. Yeah, yeah. just get in the goddamn... Get in the... Get in the robot, Shinji! See, like, I'd be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would be cool. He really did have a cool power, and he used it how any of us would use it. He used it intelligently, yeah. He used it intelligently, used it how any one of us would use it. Like, and he was weirdly... He was a sociopathic character, but there was some weird relatability to him. It, because all of us would use the Purple Man's abilities. Uh, for what? For those that don't watch Jessica Jones, the Purple Man is a dude <coughs> from Marvel Comics in the TV show Jessica Jones <coughs> on Netflix now streaming. And um, his ability is that whatever he tells you to do, you'll do it no matter what. And uh, he could give you like a length of time to do it indefinitely just for right now he could tell you to walk off a bridge he could tell you to make you dinner so he really is unstoppable and in the comics he could control whole cities by doing that he'd have everyone walk with him and be like all right everyone kill the person to your left and that would just be it like most of the city's dead like domino's just like and he'd be like that was fun ah now what 
Like, he grew insane with that power. Like, I imagine when David Tennant in the show Purple Bank got that power, he was probably like, oh, you Let's like me now. Off with it, yeah. I, I want $300 right now. Um, I'm going to stay at your house because it's nicer than mine. And then it just grew into, like, you're making me dinner. Closet. Uh, new dinner house. Um, fall off a cliff. Destroy all police records. Sex slave, sex slave, sex slave. Bored with all three of you sex slaves. Go home, go to jail, I don't care. I'll just hang out Go in home, like, go to jail. I'll just hang out in my bank for like a day and every person walking up to the register, I'd be like, hey, uh, put all that money into my account. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Even better, just give me your cash. Just go up to the tellers and be like, hey, all that money that everyone put in today, as a matter of fact, all the money, just give it to me. All the money in the safe, it's mine. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, is, like, if, if I had them do, like, just transfer all the money to me, there'd be, like, some sort of trail where they'd be like, oh, there was an error in this person. If I just have everyone give me the money, like, then they can just be like, well, I don't know, everyone just deposited their money into this dude's account. Yeah, on their own free will. <laughs> but when the IRS comes and asks you questions, you're going to be like, no questions, and then walk away. You're not going to ask me questions. Exactly. And yeah. they're like, okay. I've got, <laughs> yeah. It's weird. He'll like. That's go true. I can just like I can just wait till someone tries to confront me in person and be like, "You like they're like, hey, sir, I'm a hitman. I've been sent to kill you." And I'm like, "No, you're gonna kill yourself." And he's like, "I'm gonna kill myself." <laughs> I don't think. Hit, well, <laughs> I don't think hitmen introduce themselves every time. Have you never been? Have you never uh, introduced a yourself hitman. to a hitman? Like, has he never showed up at your? Has he never? Well, I have played hitman, and yes, indeed, Agent Forty Seven. Uh, introduces himself every time. They, yeah, they every time. whip out like a little folded up piece of paper, paper and read a prop like, "Hello." <laughs> it's like the beginning. Now, it's Logan, like the beginning of up. My name is early, insert name here. Oh, I mean Dave. I'm trying to get be, my hitman. Before hitmen hitman were called hitmen, what were they called? Uh, before hitmen were called hitmen, they were called assassinos. Wogey blogey. Assassinos. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> uh, oh, look at me! I play Assassin's Creed too. And so tell me, <laughs> they they all introduced and they had long conversations with everyone. Requiosca impasta. You know what they were originally called in uh, the modern days? They're called, or in ancient times, they're called Oog, Oog. And then, like, they come up with a rock, hit someone over the head, and go, <laughs> and hide up in tree. No one can climb tree except for Jaguar. Jaguar cannot Jaguar. climb up tree. He get hit in head with rock. Who killed Jaguar? Who killed he Jaguar. killed Jaguar. He oh. run away. He went up tree, because no one now run up tree. People Smart. give him many shell to kill other people with rock. So, on the topic of fandoms that we hate, Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> I don't even know if that one exists. What about Jimmy Neutron? Those are funny, because they're all like the... They're all like Twitter memes. Um, well, like, let me see. Do not do drug, <clears throat> do science, but science make drug. That one Shut. Facebook page where it's uh, Jim... Oh, Lee. yes. Hello. Hello. It is I, Jimbo's No Trombo. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, love think there's, I know that there's more really cringy fandoms. I just can't. I mean, every fandom has its fair Steven amount of Universe. cringe. Steven Universe. Mm -hmm. It's a show that I will never watch because of its fandom. I might have been interested at one point because of this cool cat and how he. Say. Jeff, you're sometimes like the um, the messenger, the harbinger, and the ambassador for fandoms I just can't get into. But you make the fandoms just go away because you are so genuine with your enjoyment of it that I'm like, yeah. if Jeff can enjoy it, then I sure as hell can that, enjoy I, it. That's because you know, I was about to say, like, I actually like Steven Universe a little bit, but I think it's because I liked it first that I just didn't even touch the the fandom. Same thing for, like, I feel like that can happen with a lot of people. Like, you can uh, be fans of, like, the show, but I think the fan base is, like, its own separate entity. It's almost like... Being involved yeah. in the fan base is like this extra level of commitment to the series or whatever. Yeah. Like, that requires you to make a sacrifice of blood in front of your soul. <clears throat> like, what it if, does. What if yeah, I just like wanted to draw one of the characters? Does that mean I have to draw them in Flato? Or does that yeah. mean you have to draw them naked? With the big cankles and... Yeah. Like, fucking... Pregonanauts? Like, they tattoo your back like Mad Max once you join the fandom, like, right off the bat. Like, with a contract that says, my piss, shit, and blood belongs to the bronies now. Also, fun fact, Gabe Newell also watched the show, but he refused to be called a brony. I don't know about the You can watch part, a show, and you can, like, listen to music without, like... Actually being in the fandom. Yeah. yeah. Like, you could be a furry just from the porn, 
But <laughs> you're not like a furry furry because your fursona isn't properly drawn and your fursuit isn't coming till Monday. Logan nervously said. <laughs> Sweating. Sweating <laughs> profusely. Can't wait till Monday. Yefcon is only two days away. On top of that, Adventure Time is very similar to Doctor Who as far okay. as fandom goes. I was yeah, to the Adventure Time, now that, now that you mention it, yeah, I agree. It's like the same people watch those two shows. The same people. I just like goofier things. And Adventure Time is supposed to be goofy, but it deals with like adult problems. Whereas a show like Regular Time on Cartoon Network... Regular like show. Regular, regular Time. Regular show. Um, the Brack Show. Space Ghost. Space Ghost. <laughs> it deals with, like, Blind. it's an adult situation. Like, there's no, like, crazy grow arms dog that transforms to anything. It's just, like, two dudes living in an apartment, but they deal with things very childishly. I, uh, I stayed away from one of my favorite shows, uh, BoJack Horseman, for a really long time. Is there... Is there a fandom No, well, there, there's a fandom around it. It's really a healthy fandom. This isn't so much about the fandom. It's oh. just more on the note of... Shows that do uh, deter you, but for a while I didn't watch BoJack Horseman because I thought it was like animalistic Family Guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But S someone described it as liberal Family Guy. I'm like, do you know who Seth MacFarlane is? Liberal. <laughs> do you know who Brian Griffin is? But at, at first, yeah, the first season I try to tell people to watch it. They just get through the first season and they have no desire to watch the rest. And I sit there and I'm thinking. Why, in the love of God, does Bojack have to have, like, the worst first season ever with, like, two good episodes, and then the rest of it is phenomenal? <clears throat> See, the first, t even for me, like, the first two episodes, I feel like are just sort of, like, their own adventure to help you get to know the characters a little bit better. But even after that, I would say it gets really good. Well, Todd isn't even asexual in the first two episodes. Yeah, but who cares? Honestly, for me... For me personally, it was a cool arc and it was like inclusive and all that, but I was just like, cool. They didn't, they didn't do enough with that character fact for me. Well, that goes, well, kind of goes, but <clears throat> that kind of goes with the whole like dealing with um, not adult themes, but like real themes, <clears throat> especially in those later seasons. Yeah, I um. But because they were like later, like you're saying, there's just no time to like develop or anything. Well, I know that you guys really hate it when I try to introduce someone to JoJo, take a shot, and um, I show them an episode that is like halfway through like the entire show rather than start them off at the beginning. Yeah. I think it's opposite for Bojack. I think you need to show them like an authentically good <clears throat> episode so that they know that there's a prize at the end of the trudge of the first season, and once they get there, they're going to be happy. Because oh, I've yeah. done that with three different co-workers now, and they all loved it. Like, I, uh... I'm not trying to bang any of my coworkers, so I haven't done that. <laughs> but <laughs> not really the help. I already told to you, Manuel and I are consensually platonic. <laughs> Unlike you and I, only one of us is non-consensually platonic. It's me. No, I don't consent. <laughs> oh well, then it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of us consents. But we both do it anyways. I'm in, I'm in Logan's ass. Because God told us. I'm in Logan's ass, and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Fuck. <laughs> and Logan's like, I don't want to do this either. And we're both filming it, sending it to our parents, and we're like, God, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? How sending us? it to our bosses. <laughs> Losing our jobs. <laughs> and we're like, seriously, we can't stop doing this. Oh, God, no. Um, we found out that someone's been hit. This is the purple man. It is the purple man. <laughs> the pur the purple man. Also, Fortnite looks like a fun game, but also its fandom deterred me. Like, oh, yeah, so. briefly fun. Like, I download it on a whim and play it, like, maybe five times and then get bored. I only played it two or three times, and I just never liked it. I just was never good at it with all the whole, the whole building. See, building, thing. see, like, that's the thing is that I feel like Apex Legends did it very well where you had, and Overwatch, I would say, does it very well where you have this fun list of powers that you can use that make your characters individual and all this. And while I do like a certain element of everyone's on an equal playing ground, building is just, for me, it's just not the way to make a shooter its Fun. peak. I'm yeah. getting shot at. Let me put a wall up. Let me put a wall up that, even though not even all of it is built yet, will still block everything that's coming at me. Yeah. Like... Can you imagine some dude like pulling a bunch of lumber out of his pocket and be like, all right, let's see. Let me look at the blueprints right quick. Can you stop shooting for a second? 
All right, so we're going to have to put the stud here. Like, I ironically think that PUBG and a totally accurate Battleground simulator did it really well because it's just like, if I'm not going to be unique in my own character, then I'm going to be like, if I was dropped right in, which means I'm naked, I'm afraid, <clears throat> I'm scared, I gotta find my shit Hunger Games style, and once I do, then I'm gonna feel a little bit less scared. Yeah. It's pretty fun, it's just that PUBG doesn't innovate and no one plays tabs, tab G, whatever. And I just, again, with like the building element, to me, to me what really helps with a shooter especially is there's a certain pacing to it. And for me, like, all, like, Fortnite, it starts out and it's so slow for the first, like, however long until you start running into a lot of people. And maybe that's just me because I don't play it a lot. Or if you're like me, you drop in and then you instantly die. Yeah, it's like one or the two. See, like, a couple of times I decided to go out of my way to, um, to uh, actually, like, sort of dedicate myself to, like, just not being the last one or first one to die. But I don't necessarily care if I'm the last one. And one time I actually won one of those. It was only one time, and I swear to God it will never happen again, but it was just... It provided a release of dopamine, dopamine that's not necessarily like winning an online battle of Smash or just like a friend battle of Smash or anything like that. It was just... It was rewarding in its own, in its own mindset, but See, I had worked so hard on it that it just did not matter. Of the three times that I... Or two or three times, I guess. I don't know how many I actually played a Fortnite... But of one of them, I was the last. I was the last two, and as someone who was just playing this game for the first time, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been making him dab for like five minutes. And uh, as someone, don't. No, I'm gonna make him praise the sun now. Don't. Uh, but as someone who was just playing the game, uh, it's it's oddly off-putting to be like second out of 100. When you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's how I feel it about is... Tetris 99. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice when you win, and like the other players are going to be like, he's so good, and you're really like, I should not be here. And then you can play with Ninja, and then you can make a lot of money. I and you be on Red Bull cans and try to make New York Times Square floss. floss. Do you, how long do you think Ninja's going to be famous for? I think another he's already dying minutes. down. <laughs> I think maybe another Another year. five minutes. I think, yeah, another five Checks watch. Hmm. <laughs> any any second now, actually. Oh, it's like uh, see, I was gonna do that. Are his hands outward? No, they're upward. That that's not how they do it. It's out. Yeah, but he's doing a clap your hands. That's how you know it is a spy. Oh, <laughs> Praise spy. the clap your hands. Praise you the love the sun. Clap your hands. Um. I think Ninja's maybe got about, like, another year of being relevant, and then, like, a year of going downhill. What, what would happen, kind of, like, hopping back, but with Fortnite, what would happen if, like, literally one of the characters was, like, the Black? next... Black? No. What if that's the next Smash character? One of the next, <laughs> next Smash, Smash characters? Character. Black man! Fortnite. No, it's just like for default Fortnite character, like the blonde chiseled chin well, dude. Well, no, because they have like the so pickles. many different skins. So like, you would get the tomato dude. You'd probably get like the. Your up smash is building wooden stairs upwards. They have Fortnite dances for the taunts. Oh, don't say those. Th <laughs> if they ever put the Turkleton in, <laughs> can you imagine just getting like zero to death, like spike at the end, and then someone just like doing a floss taunt? At you? Doing a floss in like one of those. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm, orange kid. Yeah, the orange kid. Fucking, I would actually... <clears throat> oh, did I tell you I made a kid almost smash his uh, switch in half because I beat him so bad? Yeah, in smash? Yes, yeah, you said that last time. Oh, my bad. That's okay. Um, uh, yeah, That no. was your last strike, though, so... That was my last strike. That's number three. Next mm. time, you next time down to the cellar. It, hey, did you, back down? did you hurt your foot? Oh, dude, you should hear about the hole in my foot. <laughs> This time there's blisters in my foot though, so you know I'm moving on up to the east side. <laughs> east side, east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Cool by Hitler. Um. So Fortnite sucks. Fortnite sucks. Doctor Who sucks. Fortnite Adventure Time sucks. sucks. Lego games piss me off. Lego games, yes! We we're gonna talk about that. Lego games piss us off. Um, because my entire issue with it is that if you take any given Lego game, 
it would theoretically still be a good game without the Lego element, and the Lego element is essentially there for there, just for the branding of it, and for the, wow, we brought in people because they wanted to play with Legos, but on their computer. And I really liked the first Lego Star Wars games, I really did. Yeah, they, yeah. <clears throat> well, because it was fresh, too. Yeah, it was really fresh at the time, but now <clears throat> it's like, oh... Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Harry Potter. Oh, those piss me off. The and one... they're all the same games, too. Well, it's just, yeah, that's the thing. It's the same game, and it's... Well, there was one specifically that I think was god-awful. was was um, not the Marvel Super Heroes one, but Marvel Avengers. I have that one. It was literally just the movie, like, voice clipped and everything poorly. Um, but it was just Legos. Like, yeah, and that's the also, thing is that it's just like, oh look, it's a Lego, we're original and, now. <laughs> and they combined all the characters and hired like really shitty off-brand ones. I don't know, Lego Schindler's List was really bad. It's all <laughs> black and white except for the red and all these Nazis walking around. <laughs> they they would like put people into... Lego uh, Sin City. Like, I was about to say Lego head. Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> they would shoot the French resistance in the head and they would just like collapse into Lego pieces. In Lego Sin City, oh! you have to kill <laughs> yellow bastard. <laughs> Legos. Oh, le you kill a yellow pedophile, but he just explodes. All right, if Lego wants to do Lego Sin City, I'll play that. But other than that, I'm, I ain't playing Lego shit. They're going to do it because then they could have la uh, Lego Lady Gaga. They could put Lego titties in the game. I do. Like <laughs> just just like an extra block. It's like <laughs> I do like Lego titties. It looks like two of the things that you like connect the Lego to is just like two circles that are flat. It's just yeah, just like the nodes. Yeah. So you like can you can put way. another block on it. Yeah, just... <laughs> Whoa, those are some dog titties. Oh. And it's just two dog heads. <laughs> Whoa, your titties are palm trees. Whoa. 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 Wow, wow. I built an entire castle on this girl's titties. Lego Girls Gone Wild from 2004 <laughs> that you had to order off from late night TV. I would 100%. I also, uh, I had to stay in a hotel because I was in Blackhawk over the weekend. <clears throat> uh, speaking of, in Blackhawk, my uh, I was there with my sister's fiancé. Uh, and he walks up to one machine and he says, this one's a winner. And he pulls the thing and $900 right there. First try, and did, I was just like, "Boom, <clears throat> dude!" Did you kill him and take his move? Well, I tried, but he the Does knife didn't buy take. more Lego games. The knife didn't take. I put it in him, and it, his body rejected it. <laughs> you put it into the coin slot, and it didn't accept it. But uh, more so to the point, which was something. Oh, uh, I was watching TV, and there's still those are still some late night ads. There's a uh, there's a one eight hundred. There's one eight hundred call sexy. Oh, yeah. You would get we those have... all the time on Spike. Um, there was, a uh, shit, what was the other one? What was the other one? What was the other one? The, um, the, there's the old... WeR18.com. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know, which is, like, just the most ridiculous name that, to me. That's, like, <laughs> the most, like, creepy thing ever. We it would be are less 18. creepy if there was a website called We Are Not 18. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, like, we that's are the eight... dark web version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, WeR18.com sounds just like... Like a confirmation of like, yep, we tricked these girls into showing us their IDs, or like, or like rather just like it, it's confirming Don't to worry, perverts. It's legal. It's confirming to perverts that are like, I want the youngest, most yeah. supple high schooler. Oh wait, but eighteen, but so super young, like turned eighteen that day, but still legal, still legal, That's not creepy, thing. not creepy, but so young. If you think about it, if you're looking for teen porn on like Pornhub like that's a really highly rated category it but is. that is Every a two year gap that is two years that you can legally watch someone in yeah exactly it's just so <laughs> it's yeah it's a little it's a little weird it's, I get some people like their like apples fresh off the tree and shit like that but it's just, just... That... there's also a problem with eating something that's not right yeah, yeah. And also 18 year olds <laughs> are dumb as shit yeah, I was dumb as shit when I was an AT. I'm still dumb I'm as still shit. Dumb I'm as still shit. dumb yeah. as shit. Yeah, yeah well, hell? dumb as shit still. That was a real always sunny moment for us right there. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're all Wait a minute. Like we're all still dumb as shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. still, creepy for that. No, I just think that, like, once you're 18, you're, like, out there adventurous. You're in the horniest time of your life, obviously. And it could be consensual. But in other places in the world, like, fuck, it's so drastically different than who's really to say if it's an appropriate thing. 
I'm not saying don't go out and look at 18-year-olds. I'm saying jerk off responsibly. Jerk off to a mom every once in a while. Come on. Yeah. Jerk off to on. a dad. J look up, look look up, up the dad person look you up, can find. Look up fat-bellied Barra Daddy right now. Do it. Hairy, fat-bodied, ugly bastard daddy comes in sock, drinks it, puts it on for work later that day. Top rated video. Top rated video. <laughs> it's Ninja! It's Ninja! Oh my god. He's just running through. It's just a map with titties on it. <laughs> Fat. Also, a weirdly high percentage of the Smash Online maps are just hot babes. Well, it's yeah, because Nintendo there's... doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't understand the internet. Is no, it Nintendo will never understand. Well, apparently they banned penis shapes, but not... Uh, titties? <laughs> well, one thing everyone universally likes, because it's evolutionary, we get it when we're babies, and then we never let go of it. The other thing, maybe half the population like looking at, maybe... <clears throat> See, I don't have anything against looking at a, at a pristine penis, I just have a... <laughs> a pristine, let me adjust my penis monocle. <laughs> uh, yes, a uh, splendid, a uh, splendid cock on you, sir. But there are, Carry there. On. I would say that there are many ugly dicks out there. Most. Most. I'm glad I don't have to see any. Well, time. Dick, dick <laughs> well, baby, you're in well, for a lucky boy, day. Why do we have a surprise on this podcast? <laughs> surprise guest, Nick's penis. Nick's Confetti penis. Like, it's, like, wow. it's, like, it's weird that anyone Wait. is attracted to anything because, like, most dicks look hideous and most vaginas, I will not lie, look hideous. <clears throat> yeah, vaginas are not pretty. Unless they're, like... the Unless they are... Nicely like, tucked in. So like no labia, <laughs> labia removed. Yeah. It's just a really. Hole. I just like to look at it like two, like a, like a, just a just a just a hole in the skin. Like you're living in Sierra Leone, where female circumcision is still popular. Yeah. Wahoo. That's really the dream. <laughs> <laughs> that only reminds me of the Adult Swim infomercial. Oh, the, the hey, you shot. wouldn't happen to be Jewish, <laughs> would you? Uh, no. I mean, I, yes. I mean, yes. Hey, uh, say, well, that's also for the ladies. Say, you're not from Sierra Leone, are you? Yes, definitely. Ah, ah what are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> With the broom shaka laka. No, like I said, um, I enjoy um, my partner's equipment, uh, for say, but in a perfect world, uh, I would not be fat, and the thing would look like Homer Simpson's mouth sideways. That's, that's yeah. how, I think that's honestly what we were that's going a weirdly for. good description of it. Yeah, yeah. I was about to criticize that descriptor, but that's actually pretty accurate. That's actually a real term too. They call it a simp. A if you go to r slash simp, that's all it is. No, go ahead, go ahead. And I think this is the, only the second time we're looking up porn on our, <laughs> on our <laughs> no, channel. To think we have so many others. Yeah. Simp, simp, like S I M P. Yeah. Okay. Either that or S I M P S. I can't remember I've, which. <laughs> What? All right, try The top. You'll see. The thing is that the top poster says, "I've come to your fertile land." Come spelled C U M. Now that's cheeky. But then the thing that it just says, "Bite me," and then and the, it says, "Eat my shorts." It says, "Bite me," and then the next person says, "No, you didn't." <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't tell me. Right. And that's the entire post. <laughs> is this top rated of all time? Okay. Yeah. Literally, there's only one post. <laughs> It no, says, you didn't. It says, I've come to your fertile land, uh, by, posted by Tamblin Rosendahl. And then Skeeter Dump said, no, you didn't. <laughs> what a lad. Okay, I was wrong. It is simps. Plural. Sim okay. Yeah, plural simps. Yeah, okay, see, those. Are, that's a good vagina. Yeah. yeah, see, those are vaginas. That's exactly, that's exact. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. Watch more Simpsons. It will shrink your labia. It will shrink your labia. That's scientific. Bill Nye proved that in an episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy. He did. And just like that, I also watched Bill Nye where he just brought out a bunch of bodybuilders. And I've lost so much weight and my penis no longer looks like a penis. See, the thing it is... Looks like, it looks, it like, it looks like Bart Simpson's hair. Again, I feel like I do have to say, I don't feel like I have room to criticize vaginas not always looking great because there's no my dick is not a <clears throat> yeah is not attractive by any means. Like our beauty standards, like if we never seen a vagina like that before, we would look at our respective partners' vaginas and be like, "This is perfect." Yeah, exactly. But every single bit of porn that we watch is another brick on the wall of attractiveness towards a certain thing, 
And I'm sure as fuck that my girlfriend has seen more than enough buff dudes on the internet with their cocks out. Uh, just for general. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to where uh, the, the, it's a two way stream, and it hurts when I hear it too. And that's the podcast. And that's, and that's the, the podcast. podcast. Uh, well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, bunch of links down below. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Uh, Please thank you to a Luke big thank Peterson. you to Luke Peterson. Uh, our patron that we always forget to thank at the end of our videos. Yeah, be like Luke. Give us money. Give us uh, money. But we're on a two two uh, two video streak now. Uh, wow. please, please look up uh, the video uh, up your butt with a coconut. Very funny. Very funny. Uh, albino black sheep. Uh, super new. Um, there we are. And uh, all this coffee's making me got a shit. So let's uh, let's just fuck. Look up, Sims. <laughs>